Hello and welcome! I'm Mitz Piano and you're watching The Legend of Lelza, Skyward Stuff. You know, there's like stuff in this game. Okay, so we have um, Ferris Flame and Nero's Flame. One more to go. But apparently two more harp songs to go, so uh, we'll see what happens. Thank you for getting me my ship back from... We kind of lost it, but we did get the flame. It may have been half-wrecked, but my crew and I got it shaped up to almost proper working order in no time for... Wait, it's repaired? Just like that? I wish you good luck in finding whomever it is you're looking for, Fweep. Come visit again, you're welcome anytime, Fweep. Actually, I do want to go back there for something, because... To the sand ship, yeah. Um, because I think I figured out how to get to that chest. It came to me when I was reviewing the footage for... Um, for the past few episodes. Because, yeah, there was a room on the back that I didn't know how to get to. I think I can see it right there, so... And I think I know how to get to it, so... Oh, good! We got the robots crewing this thing instead of the Vokoblin pirates. Technoplin pirates. Wait, were there Technoplins? I don't even remember. It's not important. What is important is that... Um, we don't do stupid things like that. But also... Whatever's in this chest it better be worth it. Kidding me. That's what I was trying to do. I don't know why Link was being like that. Wait, there's robots on top of the sails? What are you doing up here? One of you, Verm? Yeah, I know. You can see, like, everything that was devastated and turned into a sea of sand because of your... Climate change. Uh... Okay, am I gonna have to shoot the eye to bring this back? Because I can do that. Whoops. Oh, hey, you can see the flame there on the deck. Is there anyone up here? Where? in the heck did you guys come from? Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. There's nothing finer than seeing the whole crew standing in attention with the wind in their servos, weep. Seriously, where did you guys come from? Here I thought you were all cannibalized by the pirate bot because um, he needed energy. There it is. Now, I should be able to reach this one here, right? No. Okay. For once, taking a fall purposefully. But yeah, this should let us get behind the ship, which is where that chest is, I think. Alright. Come on. Come on. Okay, this was worth it. You know, most 
Um, prior Zelda games don't actually hide heart pieces in dungeons. And I think that's just for the ease of doing three hearts challenges, but you can't really do a three hearts challenge in this one. Well, you could do a six hearts challenge, which would be more or less the same thing, but... Um, yeah. I'm not going to do that, by the way. Alright. We are leaving. That means we need to kill all the robots on this ship. Sorry, but um, it's your fault for barring the exit with electricity. Environmentally unfriendly electricity, of course. Alright. So now that we... Uh, where are we? Oh, okay. This is where the ship is stuck. Got it. My cat needs to chill. But what we need to do is go back to the sky, go to Isle of Songs, learn the song. And there's some other stuff in the sky I want to do. In particular, I want to upgrade the bow if possible. Made me buy some more stuff at Beetle Shop, too. Sky. This cat is so needy. He is. Yes, you are. And why do you always wait until I start recording to do this? Huh? Huh? It's a good thing you're adorable and thus we... We let you get away with this. Anyway, bizarre beetle. Uh, don't think I have any. I have one goddess cube chest. Okay. Mark that. I can get it on the way to Isle of Storm. Songs. No. It's in a storm, but it is not the Isle of Storms. It is the Isle of Songs. you got for us? Fortune teller is still trying to rip us off. You got something new. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh, a new item. A quiver! Yes, I want a quiver. That would be much more useful than the seed satchel. I, what do you have to say? <laughs> Welcome! <laughs> Sigh. Sorry, I shouldn't be sighing in front of a customer. You see, recently I haven't been able to sleep at night. Uh, sorry, I also shouldn't be complaining in front of a customer. Again. Uh, hello. Okay, so, um, we're gonna be checking this guy's house at night because... I know where he lives. But also, I want my quiver. You can carry five more arrows. Just five? I mean, I'll take it. Oh. Yeah, okay, gotta go to the item check first. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, here, Mac. I'll hold on to anything of yours you want me to. Something in your patch today that you want to deposit or something you want to pick up? Yes. Wonderful. So what do you have? Yeah, because we're barely even using the slingshot anymore. Bye. Thank you, come again. Okay, quiver. We have a deal! Nice camera angle!
Okay, so scrap shop, because I know I got a lot of junk. And I want to see if I can use it for something. Hey! Upgrade! <laughs> Let's see. We can upgrade the bow. We need tumbleweeds. Okay, do I want to go hunt tumbleweeds? No. Oh, we can upgrade the quiver. Yeah, sure. Go for it. Okay! Okay! I do not want to go chasing tumbleweeds again, but maybe we can find some next time we're in Lanayru. <laughs> right now I have no reason to return to Lanayru for a while, actually. We will be going back there um, at least once, though. You got anything else? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can upgrade the beetle? Stamina beetle. Oh, sure. Okay! Okay! But, like, next time I'm in Lanayru, I'll look for tumbleweeds and try to catch them in the bug net. Speaking of which... Oh no, that needs tumbleweeds too! Figures. Let's see. Scanner shot, sure. I have no idea whether or not I'm ever going to use the slingshot again, but just okay. in case I do... Well, the problem is, what would I use the slingshot for that I can't use the bow for? I don't know, but I like the idea of the scanner shot anyway. The mighty scatter shot. Uh -huh. uh, can't upgrade the shield because that requires feathers, and I do not want to chase feathers for the same reason I do not want to chase tumbleweeds. Oh, yeah, 15 arrow quiver, yes please. All the arrows. Okay. <laughs> the large quiver it holds fifteen extra arrows. Very nice. So now we have a camp of what? Thirty five arrows? I say that's probably more than I'll ever need, but like, hi fi what is it? A report, master. Because of the improvement to your sword, you can now use your dousing ability to locate treasure. Oh! Oh, 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 this is big. We might be able to douse for tumbleweeds. Please use the additional entry in your dousing target list at your leisure and convenience. I can't believe I can douse for tumbleweeds now. I can't believe that this is something that this game wants me to do. Um, next stop, beetles. I want to see if I can buy another pocket for the patch. There's beetle. Perfect shot. <laughs> Let me on! Thank you! Okay, so we do have more adventure patch pockets here, then that's what I want. Damn it! What? Me? Freeze prices? Never! You're obviously hallucinating, so how about it? Only 600 rupees. Oh. Sorry, I'll come back when I'm a little richer. Oh, oh please wait a moment! Hi. Do you know how heavy you are? I have to pedal extra hard with you up here. Sorry, it's all the junk you sold me. 
mean you have the gall to leave without buying anything? Off with you! What? This is how he punishes window shoppers? <laughs> Rude? Listen, the only reason I'm doing this is because you did raise your prices and now I can't afford your stupid patch upgrade. Butterflies. Oh, apparently there's nothing there. Okay. Don't care. So I do have to wonder, what could be keeping this guy up at night? Is it the crying of the baby that's strapped to his back? Oh. Hello? Hi. What do you want? These past few days, I swear I hear a voice every time I walk past the restroom at night. Who in the world is in there? I just wish I'd pipe down. Yeah, I know. Um, you know what? Sorry, Karen, but since I can't actually find where you hang out during the day, unless it's, like, in here? It is. Okay. Oh my gosh, she was here the whole time. Hi! Sigh. Oh, Pippet, how can I get you to notice me? Oh, great. Now I'm dealing with love triangles. Ah, Link! Uh, what's the matter? Do you... do you need something? I wonder if he heard what I just... was just talking about. Hey, here! Letter for you! Huh? A letter? For me? Could it be from Pippet? Here you go! Oh, thank you! I'll just take that! I wonder who it's from! Whoa! That's some really terrible handwriting! <laughs> Anyway, never mind that. Let's see what it says. Greetings. My love for you is wider than the horizon and deeper than the clouds. I would very much like it if you would go out with me. Your brave knight, Colin. Dot, 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 dot. Is she going to throw it back in my face? Wow, this Colin guy. Isn't he one of Bruce's flunkies? And this... This is a love letter from my calling kid, right? Oh boy. <laughs> so, yeah, I have to say, he really put his heart into it and everything. I don't know, maybe I should consider going out with Colin. Ha! <laughs> As if! Yes, please don't go out with Grooscoon number one. Sigh, so, I wonder what Pippet would think if he knew about this. You know, I could just go tell him. He's, like, literally right upstairs. In fact, I'm heading that way anyway. Wait, no, I'm not. Now I am. But... Hey, hey, Pippet, this girl has a crush on you. Yeah. What's up, Link? Oh, Karani got a love letter? I, I see, that's interesting. Wow. Um, what do you think she intends to do? It's me. So you don't know? Well, it's going to bother me until I find out. Oh, I mean, uh, it, it's not like there's anything going on between me and Karani, you know? We're just friends. So it's not my business who she goes out with. I don't have much to say about it. But, you know, I do have a duty to make sure that everyone is living up to the high ideals of our night school, right? You do? I mean, ideal love is unfettered and passionate. Anything less than that can't really be called love at all, you know what I mean? I think you're not really a good guy with relationships. So I should just step in and make sure that she's found a true love that aspires to the highest ideals of our fine educational institution, right? What? And what about me? I have the right to experience an unfettered and passionate love too, don't I? You understand, don't you, Link? I'm not wrong about this, am I? You like her? What? Don't be ridiculous, Link! I don't even understand how you could make such a wild accusation. Yeah, he totally has a crush on her. Well, either way, I don't suppose you'd mind asking her what her decision is going to be, would you? How did I get wrapped up in a love triangle? I was just here to sleep. Oh, 
is Colin gonna get dumped? You're the one who sent the letter, right? Yes? <laughs> it was a wonderful love letter. Thank you. <laughs> it wasn't that great. And, um, what's your answer? My answer? Ah, oh, my answer. Oh, please, please go out with me! Hey. Wait! I think you should go out with me instead! I mean, er, I want to ask you out. Uh? What? Hey, hold on there! What are you trying to pull all of a sudden? What have I done? Er, I want to go out with Pippet. Ah, uh, see that, you fool? I knew she would choose me. She's been checking me out for weeks. Uh, wait a second. <laughs> wait, really? Truly? You choose me? Yes, I'm so happy. Thank you. <laughs> this can't be happening. I'm so sorry, Grooskoon number two. Are you number one or number two? I'm not even sure anymore. Oh, poor soul. To be rejected. Yeah. Link! When you told me about the letter, it was at that moment I finally realized. I realized that I love her. I thought to myself, I can't let anyone else take her from me. This is questionable. If you hadn't told me, I might never have even noticed my own feelings for her. I'm so grateful. I don't know how I can ever thank you. Am I going to get gratitude for this? believe I'm getting gratitude for um dumping what's his name? Grooskoon number three. Anyway, I should probably like console him and see if I can get some gratitude from him too. Where is he? Is he in this room? No, I don't know where he went. Okay. Whatever, um, let's get back to what I was actually doing. Which is not solving high school love triangles. I love how Link just flops on the bed. Guy is tired after all that adventuring. Okay, so first off, I do still have the letter, I think. I don't know if I have the letter or not anymore, but if I do have the letter, I want to give it to the person in the bathroom. Please forget about the paper. Goodbye. Oh. Okay. Problem solved? I don't know. I think I somehow stumbled into a multiple choice quest. Like, I think a different outcome would have happened if I had actually given the letter to... Um, the person in the toilet, but like, I don't particularly want to, so I don't particularly care. Let's go see what the heck is up with the potion shop guy. Yep. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, do I remember where your house is? No. But the game is going to tell me where your house is when I approach it, so no big deal. Is it this one? It's this one. Okay. Alright, so, uh, what's keeping you awake? 
Is it literally the baby on your back? It is, isn't it? Dot, dot, dot. Sigh. Uh, doesn't look like I'll get much sleep tonight. Again. Sorry to worry you. The baby just goes on and on like this at night. I haven't slept a wink in... Uh, I don't even know how long. You poor soul. The baby usually sleeps like a sack of rocks, but that was before we lost the you-know-what. The what? <laughs> the baby's rattle. If we had the you-know-what, then the baby would settle down, but we lost it the other day. A bird picked it up in its beak and flew off with it. Maybe the bird thought it was food. I don't know. Of course, the bird wouldn't have eaten it, so I think it must still be somewhere here in town. I just don't know where. <sighs> sure would be nice if someone would find it for me. Can I douse for it? <laughs> We've been over this, Mom! What? Oh, is Pippet mad because I cleaned his house up? <laughs> Calm down, Pippet. Don't get so mad. <laughs> How could I not be mad? It's been obvious lately that you've been giving someone rupees to clean the house. I gave you that money so you could buy some bread. If you keep spending money like this, I won't have any money to go to the Night Academy. The Night Academy has tuition, even though it's the only school in Skyloft? I didn't take that job patrolling just so you could live a life of luxury. Listen, your house was a filth. <laughs> you've got to stop doing this. Oh, hey there, Link. What could you want at this hour? You didn't hear any of that, did you? There's no way you heard, right? Sorry, I heard the whole thing. Oh, you heard. It's true, I'm working the night patrol to earn some money. But don't look at me like that. You're not exactly Mr. Perfect either, are you, Mr. Eavesdropper? Hey, listen, this actually directly concerns me because I was the guy that she hired to clean up the house. Maybe we should just forget about everything that happened here tonight. Go mope with your girlfriend. Okay, I am sick of dealing with these people's personal problems. I want to go to Isle of Songs. <laughs> Covered of infinite rupees. Are you two just going to stare at each other all day? You know what? If that's your idea of romance, then go for it. In the meantime, I will be leaving through the actual front door for once. Okay. Um, how are we on time after all that mess? <laughs> Thank you. 
I'd rather not have spent today being Skyloft relationship coach, but if that's what happened, then that's what happened. And yeah, that's what happened. Alright, see you tomorrow.